So I'm gonna need y'all to let me know in the comment section if my 2021 gun collection, the guns that I got, if they change or if they fuego. Before we get into this gun collection video, every gun that you see today has been safety checked. All right, got to put that out there. Let's get into it. So the first gun that we got is the Shield uh, MMP9. And uh, I got this off of a family member who couldn't have guns anymore. So I bought this off of them. And uh, I, I still haven't shot it yet. It holds, what, eight rounds and one mag and then seven in the other. Nice little little micro uh, gun. Uh, like I said, I haven't shot it, but decent size. Um, something that you could you know conceal uh, fairly easy. Got pretty decent ergonomics on it and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, I haven't shot it yet, and I know that there's upgraded versions of this. So um, you know it might be something that I'm, I'm looking into in the future. But Shield Nine is the first uh, gun in my gun collection that I'm bringing out. And the second gun that I'm bringing out is my Glock 17 uh, Gen 5. All right. Um, I got this for, I think, like 700 bucks. I got it earlier this year. Uh, this uh, is a light and laser combo. It's a Vutatu um, light laser combo. I did a review on this. And I did a uh, review on uh, the Glock 17 as well. Um, it has all your Glock 17 Gen 5 features. So you got front and rear cocking serrations and uh, removal of finger grooves and all that good stuff. But um, this this is a really good gun. I like shooting it. I like the size of it. Um, it it's the Glock 17, kind of like the Glock 19, but uh, a little bigger. So I just like the size of it and all, you know, it's really fun to shoot. It's reliable as heck. So you ain't got to worry about, you know, uh, malfunctions and stuff like that. Um, it's just a solid overall gun. So this is one of my favorites. Um, I got, it came with the Cerakote. So it came this way. And if y'all watched my channel this year, then y'all seen that I tried out an accessory that I bought online and it tore up the paint and tore up the Cerakote a little bit. So, you know what I mean? I got a couple couple little dick dings and, and nicks and stuff like that. But other than that, you know what I mean? It's still looking good, still feeling good. And uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite joints right here. Glock 17 Gen 5. Let's get into the next joint. Now, the next joint that we got is the Ruger 5.7. And this is chambered in 5.7 by 2.8. And you see it's safety check, so it's cleared. Um, I still haven't shot this, um, and I, I actually found the rounds. A couple people hit me up and, you know, hit me with some links and, and gave me some different uh, companies and places where I can buy ammo, but, you know, I mean, I just haven't gotten around to actually getting some and doing it, but um, the 5.7 is a nice looking gun, nice round. I like the features of this. It's uh, really like a, a long, uh, bigger gun really lightweight though uh you know you got the, the uh, slide cuts and all of that stuff in here um it, it, this is just a nice gun and it's pretty popular you know between this one and uh, um the fn 57 this one's probably like half the price so i went with this one instead of the fn and maybe one day i get the fn maybe not you know but i like the way this look i like the way it feels um i like the texture on the uh, grip and I forget how much exactly I paid for this. I think it was like 600 or something like that. I got it at uh, my local Royal King. But um, this has some some just nice features. Uh, front and rear cocking serrations, uh, slide cut, you got a rail, um, trigger safety, uh, manual ambidextrous safety. It's just a, a nice, you know, gun with tons of features and stuff like that. So, all right. So I forgot to mention that these guns are not going in any particular order. So it's not like I got these in any order that I'm going in. I'm just, you know, randomly uh, selecting which gun that I want to bring up. So the next gun is the 
Landor Arms uh, Bullpup. I believe it's a, a BP uh, BP02 or BP2. I forget what the actual name of it is. Something like that. But I did a. Uh, it's the the BPX BPX 902 Gen 2. I couldn't remember the name of it. But um yeah I did that. I've got I got this uh, as an anniversary present. My wife got it for me. Um, it's a bullpup shotgun. It had it came with two uh, five round magazines and a two round magazine. Uh, lots of features on this man. It has um. You got the side charging handle. You got a uh, uh, AR style charging handle. You got flip up sights on here. Um, you got a uh, vertical uh, forward grip uh, hand stop. This thing is a monster. Like I recently took this to the range, um, and I'm working on that video now to get y'all that full review coming out pretty soon. But um, this thing is a monster, and uh, I love it. I definitely recommend at least having one bullpup in your uh, in your collection. Like this thing just it just bucks. And I'm still in the uh, breaking in process with this because they recommend that you put 50 to at least 100 rounds of uh, heavy loads through this, so you can uh, get through the breaking in process. So I'm still actually in the breaking in process technically because I don't think I, I put that many rounds. I threw it maybe like 50. I might I might have got to 50. Maybe not. Maybe I might not have. But um, I got it written down the actual number of shots, but uh, rounds. But uh, this is a really fun gun to shoot. I definitely had a lot of fun shooting this. But uh, let's get into the next gun that I got this year. And the next gun that I got this year was the FN 509 Tactical. And um, this gun was a gun that wasn't even on my radar. I believe I paid like 900, maybe a thousand for this. Um, I just liked a lot of the features on it. I like the texture on the grip. I like the 20 round capacity. Um, I like the threaded barrel. I like the front and rear cocking serrations. The, the only thing that I could say I didn't like on this was the trigger. And I'm still not a fan of the trigger. So it's definitely something that I'm looking to replace uh, possibly in the future. But um, I put an O-Lite on here. The PL Pro Valkyrie, and I got the uh, a Leupold. I don't know what model this is. Delta Point Pro, I believe. Leupold Delta Point Pro on there, and um, I mean this gun bangs. Like the ergonomics on it is sweet. Uh, it, it looks good. You know, what I mean this is a, a beautiful looking uh, firearm right here. Um, never had a, a function or any problems with it uh, mechanically. It just it just feels real good, looks real good, shoots real good, you know. So overall, this is just a solid gun. Um, this is my only FN, you know. I'm a, I, I like FN because they make the scar, but um, this is the only FN that I have right now. But there is a I do want the FNX 45. I do want that because that that's just a crazy crazy gun. But that's something that I want, and um, you know. But this this is a solid solid gun and uh, a gun that I really like so um, the FN 509 tactical chamber 9 millimeter definitely something that I would recommend you getting or at least checking out but let's get into the last gun that I got uh, in my gun collection that I purchased in 2021 alright gun family so this is the last gun that I got this year that I made a purchase of Oh, well, not the last gun, but this is the last one on my collection list. And um, this is the CZ Scorpion uh, Evo 3S1. And this is a 9mm carbine. A um, lot, of, lot of people did reviews on this. I heard a lot of good about it. Um, some people called it one of the best pistol caliber carbines. Some people called it, you know, one of the worst. So um, I did a review on this, so definitely check that out. Uh, I love this gun. Um, they, 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 I, I put a, a few things out there about it, uh, basically like buying it and keeping it stock or doing upgrades. I did a lot of upgrades on it. I got the uh, Six Hour Romeo uh, 5 on there. Um, I changed out the trigger and put a Theta 4 trigger in there. I got the uh, Duck Bill Mag release on there. I put the uh, SB Tactical folding brace. Um, I put these rail covers on and 
I also put on a extended uh, red charging handle. So, um, oh yeah, and I and I put the delete switch on here too. So it's, it was an ambi uh, safety, but I made it uh, just a single side because I didn't like the way it was, and I changed out the the grip on here too. Um, so I did a lot of upgrades on this. And the upgrades almost cost me as much as the gun itself. I think I spent like six, maybe seven hundred dollars in upgrades, and um, that's why I say that I, I this is the only PCC that I have too. But I, I can't say that I recommend it to everybody because I, I think in its standard configuration, I don't re really recommend it. You know what I mean? Because it's a nice gun. It's solid. It's gonna shoot and everything, but I think without the upgrades that I put on here, I wouldn't like it as much. And I put that in my review and everything, so you, you would already know that. But uh, I like this. It's just a, a solid gun to shoot, really fun. Um, definitely something that you could take on a range trip, throw in a bag, uh, especially with this folding brace on there. Throw it in a bag and, you know what I mean, just take it wherever. So um, this is one of my favorite guns, though. I really like this gun. Um, so if you haven't shot a scorpion, I would say try it out, you know, um, but if, if you're not going to put the money into it to upgrade it or you can't, then you might not have the experience that I had. But like I said, I like it. It's a fun gun. But that's my 2021 gun collection. That's the six guns that I got this year. So, uh, I'm at a two, a gun every two month average. And next year, I hope to double that and get one gun every month. So I get out, you know, with 12 guns at the end of 2022. But, um, like I said, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, y'all got any questions about any guns or anything like that, then let me know. And we out to the next one, gun family. Stay blessed. Stay strapped. You don't want one of these, but just keep back to your You don't want one of these, but just keep on letting them breathe. You don't let one of these, but just keep back to your You don't want one of these, but just keep on letting them breathe. You don't let one of these, but just keep back to your You don't want one of these, but just keep on letting them breathe. You don't let one of these, but just keep back to your